Galloway's Support Through Sight Loss. Galloway's Get Active. Guided Cycling. Brinskull to White Coppice. Hi everyone, James here again. We're going to do something different today. I've got Stuart, my colleague Stuart, with us. Uh, we have been talking about getting some cycling up and running once uh, the Covid lifts. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to try and do a video, we're back at Brinskull, we're going to try and do a video walking, uh, riding along the Goit this time towards White Coppice. Stuart's qualified, uh, what was it, bike leader? Cycle say, leader, bike, yeah. Bike cycle leader. So he's got his high vis on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow behind Stuart. He's also got a little red light on the back just to make it a bit more visible for me. So. Uh, and I booked the weather, so it's going to stay dry for the next hour. <laughs> That's it. Not really, but there so we go. So <laughs> we're going to give it a go and see, see how we get on. So we'll catch you all later on. Thanks. Okay, catch you later. The video shows James and Stuart setting off for their ride. They're both riding mountain bikes. Stuart is in the lead, wearing a high-vis jacket with a little backpack with a red flashing light on the back. He's also wearing a high-vis helmet. James is wearing a blue jacket with a high-vis tabard that reads Blind Rider on the back. So yeah, this, this goit, it starts off at Roddlesworth and it was built to take the water from Roddlesworth down to Angles Ark. Yeah. We're now riding along the goit. So we've got the goit on our left-hand side and the path in the middle going through the trees. The video shows the handlebars of James's bike. He's wearing black gloves and a blue jacket. Stuart is in front. Yeah. There's some splodges of rain and mud just flashed up on the lens. Coming up the video shows James and Stuart riding down a small incline over a wooden bridge and through some muddy puddles and back up another incline. path is muddy and quite stony in places. We're just going through a gate. There's a bridge on our left hand side and the goat still on our left. The video now shows us riding through, through a narrow gateway and past the camera. We've now got to White Coppice and we're pedalling along a rocky, muddy track. We've got the hills on our left hand side, we're just crossing over a bridge. A bit further up there's a flooded stream that we have to cycle through.
Again, Stuart is leading and shouting out directions and information as we go along. On either side of the tracks you've got bright greens and dark golden browns of the bracken as it's dying off for winter. I'm just passing a lone tree with no leaves on. Quite a rocky, uneven track for riding on. This video is just giving you an idea of what we what we're aiming to get up to next year. We'll obviously start off at something a lot easier and build our way up to maybe doing this ride or something similar once COVID restrictions allow. Going on a downhill section. Yeah. yeah. We've now come off the rocky track and we're on a quiet country lane and there's a lot of puddles. The lane goes round the northern end of the Angles Arc Reservoir. So again we're just taking it very easy. Stuart leading and giving directions as we ride along. Got a dry stone wall on our left hand side and on the other side of this dry stone wall is Angles Arc Reservoir. Turn slightly left and we go across the dam wall. From here the road goes uphill and eventually comes out to another bridle way on our left hand side which would take us up past Healy Nab. guy comes past us on an electric mountain bike. Electric bike yeah. Now turn off the road onto the stony bridle way which leads quite steep uphill towards Healy Nab. This was a quite, quite a difficult climb on here. this day we just got to the top of this big incline and then we turned round and followed the tracks all the way back. Yep. So we're now picking up speed as we've turned round and we're heading back. Stuart just goes over a little jump. Clear. Come out of the gateway, we turn right through a big puddle back onto the, the quiet country oh, road. Down, then it just <laughs> <laughs> Too 
Yeah, it felt good. If any of you are watching this video and you fancy having to go cycling, whether it's on a single bikes, like me and Stuart were in the video, or whether you'd like to have a go on a tandem, then get in touch with us. It's something we're looking at bringing on next year. We'll probably start off around some parks, maybe more park, where the, the nice tarmac flat paths and gradually build up to more off-road and out in the countryside like we are in this video. It's something to, to aim for and something that is, is achievable for quite a few people. So if you're interested in having a go, give me a shout. It's 01772 744 148. We're now back on the the path back towards White Coppice, the rocky path, and we'll once again be going through the flooded stream. I'm just going past a small group of people that have got quite a few dogs and there's a little black dog that is running all over the place really fast little dog White Coppies Cricket Ground on our left hand side. Alright, oh, there's no catch on it. Yeah, there's something about being on the bike though, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, like you said, the, 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 the freedom, uh, the exhilaration, the wind in your air, and. Uh, Yeah. Oh, we've got that little bit here. So we go down, it's a bit of a bump. Three or four bumps. Once we head on this big wig. Right. And then go along through the style and then up. We get it in an easy gear. So a low gear? Yeah, get it in an easy gear. Right. So it's just going to be good. So down. Oh, I'd have to be well interested. <laughs> okay, guys, so that just shows you that uh, even if you have got sight loss. If you've got somebody that you can follow or you're on a tandem then uh, there are things we can do so this is just giving you an idea of what we're we're aiming to to build up to um, possibly be next year now won't it yeah. when uh, when all the restrictions are lifted a bit and we can get out and about we'll start off on something simple like maybe around uh, Moor Park or somewhere like that just to get people uh, give them the hang of being on a bike uh, following somebody or indeed on a, a tandem if that's that's what you prefer. So it just gives you a bit of an insight onto to 
some of the activities that we are planning and it's uh, just a break from the, the walks for this week just bring you something different so once again thanks for watching if you'd like to know any more give us a shout it's 01772 744 148 and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching Galloway's support through sight loss